Following a reassessment by the Pentagon, the U.S. Air Force has decided to reintegrate 14 MH-139A Grey Wolf helicopters into its planned fleet, reversing part of a previous decision to cut procurement by half for the 2025 fiscal year. This move brings the total number of Grey Wolf helicopters to at least 56, marking a significant change in the Air Force's approach to maintaining its helicopter capabilities while avoiding a critical cost overrun. Initially, the Air Force had planned to purchase 80 MH-139 as, but budget constraints reduced this number to 42 in its FI 2025 budget proposal. However, a recently released Pentagon Selected Acquisition Report, SAR, has confirmed the authorization to increase this by 14 additional helicopters, mitigating the effects of the earlier cut. The decision was largely driven by a breach of the Nunn-McCurdy Act, which occurs when program costs exceed certain thresholds, leading to a review and rebalancing of the procurement plan. The MH-139A Grey Wolf is a critical replacement for the aging UH-1N Huey fleet, primarily tasked with patrolling the U.S. Air Force's extensive nuclear missile silos. These helicopters are also equipped for surveillance, transport, and other support missions, including VIP transport and search and rescue operations, though budget cuts have reduced the scope of some of these secondary missions. Built on the platform of the commercial AW-139 helicopter by Leonardo, and produced in partnership with Boeing, the Grey Wolf offers improved range, speed, approximately 250 km per hour, and lower operating costs compared to the older UH-1N Huey. With advanced avionics systems and enhanced surveillance capabilities, the helicopter enhances the Air Force's ability to secure critical infrastructure and execute its nuclear security mission. One of the key reasons for the reversal of cuts to the MH-139A program is to avoid a critical cost overrun under the Nunn-McCurdy Act. When the planned number of helicopters was reduced to 42, the per-unit cost of each helicopter increased, triggering a critical breach of the Act's cost thresholds. The SAR report indicated that by increasing procurement by 14 units, the program's costs will remain under the critical threshold, though the breach will still be classified as significant. This strategic recalibration ensures that the Grey Wolf program remains financially sustainable, allowing the Air Force to meet its nuclear security requirements without incurring unsustainable cost increases. The reintegration of additional helicopters also maintains program momentum after initial production resumed in FI 2023 following necessary FAA certifications. The decision to restore some of the previously cut helicopters will benefit both Boeing and Leonardo, who co-produced the Grey Wolf. Boeing, the primary contractor, began delivering low-rate initial production helicopters to the Air Force in August 2023. Meanwhile, technical data packages critical for future maintenance and sustainment have been secured, which will facilitate service-led maintenance and open up more competitive opportunities for contractors and helicopter sustainment. With the expansion of the MH-139A fleet, the Air Force has positioned itself to maintain the operational capabilities needed for nuclear security and other mission-critical roles. As the program progresses into FI 2026, the Air Force may also reevaluate the possibility of restoring some of the roles originally performed by the UH-1N Huey, such as VIP transport and search and rescue, depending on future budget allocations. In conclusion, the reversal of cuts to the MH-139A Grey Wolf fleet represents a strategic decision by the U.S. Air Force to ensure cost efficiency, operational readiness, and modernization of its helicopter fleet while preventing a critical cost breach under the Nunn-McCurdy Act. The Grey Wolf will play a crucial role in securing the Air Force's nuclear assets and supporting other key missions.